Hello, style friends. So let's talk about this season's trends. So when looking at seasons, I look many, many runways. I, you, we have sometimes to look beyond what we just see there. So as an example, in this uh, image that you see there from, I believe this Chloe runway, what do you see? So this is what I see, point toe shoes, pencil skirt, cardigans, ladylike dressing, a cardigan, a jacket, layers, a touch of red, but there is that feeling of ladylike, more refinement dress. So all that is part of trends this season. So let's see and start. So this season was about a lot of diversity in the runways, inclusivity, but there is a lot of transparency and sensuality. There were like blurred gender lines. There were runways where men and women were wearing the same thing. We will talk about the past and future, and that comes with the use of our metallics. A lot of comfort. There is knitwear, dresses in knits from head to toe tube dresses. So you can perhaps explore that um dressing if you are if your main goal is comfort but also there are a lot of refinement um tailoring where the strength is in the shoulders right a stronger shoulder was present in the runway so what else let's start to see the ones that i think is easy to incorporate in your closet and perhaps you already have you just have to find new ways to wear what you already have so the color red as i said red was in the runway and uh, red it was in the past season i've already reported that in the past season and it is coming for the next season for spring summer 24 so finding that red dress that you can transition from one season to another is perfect but you can invest in amazing jackets and dress were in the runway as the long evening dresses or pants suits from head to toe but what i mean head to toe is definitely head to toe like the boots the the accessories everything was red so if you don't have your color palette perhaps that's the time for you to invest in having your colors um, having a color direction and find out what is your best red. And if you have yours, I hope you'll be fine because there is a huge variation of reds this season. So as you can see, from the half Lauren more berry look to the Tory Birch more tomato, and then we have Hermes with a more neutral red there. But as you can see, the pantyhose, color pantyhoses are there. Uh, uh, em emphasis in the waist. Can you see that there is a belt dressed, a pants with belts? So find your best red and have fun with it. And if you only feel comfortable adding an accessory, just go for it. Past and future, that's uh, metallics. There are like gold and silver and everything in between in the runway. Usually the gold referred to the past and silver to the future. So I love this look, it has the bronze, mix of bronze and brocade in the top, the pleated skirt, look how long pleated skirt it is, the gold boots, and then you have a little bit of romance here in the sleeve. So, and again, the emphasis in the waist over here with a belt. So yes, silver and gold and I, to find, also you can see, finding your best metallic, right? You can dress in a pantsuit, head to toe, or you can add touches of metallics in a top or in a turtleneck or just accessories in metallics. And if you find your best metallic that also will be present in your color palette, you can wear that metal with 
everything that you have in your closet because that's related to you that's a neutral for you so you can wear that everywhere and as you're going to see in some of the next slides you can wear this metallic in the daytime and some shine in the daytime are you ready for that to have some fun on how you dress let's see other trends dress up your denim i denim never was out of trend i believe but this season i saw like head to toe denim in a more elegant way not just pants jeans but jeans suits skirts and tops in a matching setting and i love that so here is an example in a different wash and you can see the pencil elongated skirt here also in the tom ford and here you have with patches of fabric in alice olivia creating a look there was a lot of a mini skirt also but it, as you can see and that sensuality with huge slits but the most important thing is for you to find what is good for you and stick to it look in these pictures what else is available another trend can you see here the the peplum jacket so you have like in the stone ford you have the pencil skirt you have the peplum that is a trend coming and the strong shoulders all in one look here so if you have a inverted triangle uh, inverted triangle sorry hourglass shape or even a triangle shape the peplum is perfect for you so you can explore this trend this season monochromatic ladies monochromatics were everywhere so if you do some research on google they're going to say monochromatic is a boring way of dressing it becomes boring if you don't know how to do it so here's the secret look this look what makes this look interesting is the different textures of the fabric do you remember that i said comfort comes in knit dresses long knit dresses here it is then she put another coat over in the same hue variations of the same hue but has this yummy look to it and then the belt has a shiny but all belonging into the same hue and the look become interesting when you do that here more examples another color that you're going to see a lot is gray and look how she mix the, the different textures of gray here and again the jacket that has that peplum effect here and here in green and here in a more very satin like soft skirt drape skirt with a different um, texture and fabric for the top creating a very interesting look usually summers go for monochromatic autumns go for monochromatic and uh, so you can explore more this look for yourself is easy dress and it's a very give a sense of elegance and sophistication the coat of the season is a max coat is a month like i would say in portuguese a manto coat like the coat that goes below your knee to the calf and it they were everywhere even suits with like coat jackets which was very interesting you can see here in boss i don't remember which look is this but you can see the emphasis in the waist here this is skate very elongated simple beautiful tailoring silhouette there i haven't seen any report that says that animal print is in but because i love animal print my eye was more like 
oh, animal print here, oh, animal print there. So I decide to incorporate animal print to my report. So if you like animal print, one of the differences is that I saw animal print and dressing from head to toe, literally from shoes and the, um, the, the dress, the outfit, all in animal print. And I found animal print in Diane von Fustenberg, in Simon Miller, in Tom Ford. I just love how he makes the denim here with the animal print becoming very unique and interesting. If I could, I would have this whole outfit for myself. I just love it. Tailoring and refinement. And I will say again, hmm, I hear all the time oh after covid people are no longer dressing and guess what the runway shows a lot it takes a while to come into the mainstream these trends so it's not immediately but yes ladies let's go back to the art of dressing add some refinement add some tailoring you don't need to have your whole closet in a having your whole closet with tailored pieces, but invest in that amazing jacket, higher quality, strong shoulders, and it will last in your closet forever because it's a classic basic piece. You can mix and match with other pieces. So yes, refinement and tailoring were in the runway. And I just, love that remember that i said um there is this romantic golf golf trend going on but look at the romantic here too there is some ruffle tiny delicate ruffles in the top so that's how you can incorporate some romantic feeling to your look without having to dress all over with lace and transparency and so small touches here and there and again the point toe shoes here and more tailoring again this is a more soft silhouette and there is the ones that are very emphasized the shoulders the shoulders are being emphasis here a monochromatic soft tailoring here but it doesn't take much and I love the skin color here also. So other trends that I saw in the runway that is easy to incorporate in your closet if you find the perfect piece. Plaids. There are all different kinds of plaids and plaids is a classic um, for winter mostly, but there was a lot of plaid in the runway and also this is the tailoring jacket did you see how they are wearing a coat jacket up to the knees i think this was like early 2000 trend and now it's back so here it is plaids there is a looking in the back for the 50s type of skirt do you know that new look skirt the round skirt so there are several um runways that show dresses and skirts that there is the elongated silhouette pencil longer pencil skirt straight skirt and uh, and then there is the skirt the fuller skirt also for you to explore transparency there is a lot of transparency and i think that at least at middle midlife at my stage in my life i like to add transparency in small touch you know a little bit just popping out under my jacket or in the hem of my skirt but there it was prevalence the transparency and i think it's coming also for the next season so as I, you can see this is what they call the romantic like the victorian golf look with lacy and of course black pinstripe was a have a presence in the runway and the color gray and i love this look from half lauren because they get the sparkly pants and mix with 
a top and a pinstripe jacket, but then they add a pop of color in the earth tones here to make gray more interesting. So that's how you, if gray is not part of your palette, that's how you incorporate gray into your palette. You wear gray and then you get one of your colors and you put as an accent color or to, to bring the eyes up to your face. So pink stripe and gray. And the ways to define, I saw pants have belts and as, as you could see, there was coats with wide belts emphasizing the waist. But I love this look. I love like many of us no longer have, I don't have a very narrow waist any longer. And uh, I love this look of a skinny belt just tying over the jacket. So to create that definition of um, waist. So what other trends I see here? The earth tones, the browns, right? And leather. There is a lot of leather also, leather skirts, leather pants. So if you like to tap into that visual universe, now is the moment to do that. And I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, if I am quite sure some of these trends are already in your closet. And if you need a fresh eyes just to go and look at them and create new looks from what you already have, I am here for you. And don't forget, you know, I believe in circular fashion. And one of the things about circular fashion, like you have to wear the pieces in your closet at least 30 times. And for that, sometimes you need an expert that can go and create new looks from what you already have. So enjoy the season. And don't forget, I am one call away. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.